Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. According to a report, silver will drop to $21.50 by the end of the year. Let's explore! Looking at the markets today, all of the metals are down, save for palladium and rhodium. It has been quite a journey this year, an unexpected journey, I would say, especially based off predictions I made earlier in the year. But with the prices going down, the sharks are, are coming in. In other words, the bearish sharks. Yes, indeed, if you can compare two animals together, well, that is the case. And what do I mean by sharks? Well, they kind of pool around and swim around where the bait is. And as is the case, we can have uh, bullish sharks as well. I guess there is such thing as a bull shark to continue with the animal metaphor. And that is people chase the trends. In other words, silver's dropping. And so therefore, more and more bull predictions are coming in the bearish sector. Just as we see when prices rise, there are more and more predictions uh, to the bullish side. That's been a constant theme throughout the time that I've ever kept up with uh, analysis on precious metals. And uh, so today is no different. We did see uh, those levels, those numbers uh, tested here recently. And silver is um, really seen as, as I've mentioned here previously, as the worst performing asset, or one of the worst performing assets of 2021. So therefore, and based off of some of the reasoning, it, it kind of makes sense We'll be referencing an article here uh, from Kitco News from uh, Niels Christensen as a chief economy chief e economics looks for silver prices to drop five percent to twenty one dollars and fifty cents before the end of the year here. But if you enjoy videos like this where I talk about the markets, I do like to keep pretty diverse topics here in the channel as I do post videos daily. I would encourage you to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, maybe hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss a video. The reason why I say that is I've had people coming up to me and saying, or uh, in the comments section or send me emails, Sal, you gotta cover this story, look at this. And I may have covered it a week or so ago. Um, so yeah, so definitely if, if you uh, if there's something that you think I should cover, um, feel free to search my channel out for videos. You can go to the channel page and search it out. I may show that in, in, in a, in a follow-up video, but do get a lot of people uh, asking about things, but more than likely I probably have covered it, but there are certainly things that I don't cover. Uh, so I appreciate everybody reaching out to me uh, for topics. I want to try to stay on top of the news and also cover different stories. Uh, so moving ahead here, this does really bolster kind of the point I made in two previous videos about this topic. The global green energy transformation won't be enough to support silver prices through the rest of the year and in 2022, according to the latest research from Capital Economics. In a report published Thursday, Kieran Tompkins, assistant economist at the UK-based research firm, said... They are taking a dim view of silver as they expect demand to weaken through next year. And we know of what has been happening, especially with the supply chain issues. Now, supply chain issues have caused inflation as well as what the Fed is doing. Those are the two big factors for inflation, and that is supply chain problems and uh, monetary problems issues. In other words, modern monetary theory. They are printing money like it's going out of style. Um, so this is where we are at. In an updated forecast, Capital Economics expects silver prices to end the year at around $21.50. For, for 2022, the firm expects prices to fall $0.50 cents more to $21. So if we believe this report, it's probably a good time to wait to buy silver. Because uh, it's going to fall a dollar from where it is right now. Uh, with its current forecast, Capital Economics is expecting silver prices to drop more than 5% before the end of the year. And this is an article that was posted just today. So it's after the recent drop to near those prices before. December silver prices last traded 
This is the futures at $22.72 an ounce, up nearly 1% on the day, although the real prices are down a nickel right now. Um, Tompkins said that they expect the silver market to see softer industrial demand going forward. That is the key. And that is one of the main reasons why silver prices are dropping. Silver is trading like a commodity right now, folks. That is key. That is where the psychology is. Um, and so it's not being loved. I mean, who loves commodities? Not many of us. And we like to stack the shiny, those in the physical realm. Although, as we know, prices are pretty high for those for premiums right now. And uh, But it's a good time to buy when the prices are low. Uh, there are signs, that early signs, that growth in industrial demand for silver has started to wane. Indeed, the three-month average of the output balance of the Global Econ Electronics PMI has fallen since its peak in May, Tompkins said. Tompkins also said that the global push for renewable energy might not provide much support for silver. Think about that for a moment, because that's all we've been talking about, including this channel, about renewable energy push and that it was going to provide support for silver. Well, we're all anticipating it. In fact, we know it's coming one way or the other, whether it's by government control and mandate or by private sector free market growth, which we've been seeing for the last 10 years plus, especially in the PV sector for solar panels. Yea, though, it's not pushing the prices up. And I think that's just a reflection on kind of where we are at with demand down and um, um, the psychology has shifted. Admittedly, growth in silver demand will be supported by the green transition in many economies given that silver paste is used in photovoltaic cells for solar panels. But photovoltaic demand for silver only accounts for 20% of total industrial demand for the metal, although that is a pretty big chunk. There's no question about that. So any increase may not be enough to offset any drop-off in broader industrial demand growth in the near term. Potentially in the long term, especially what some of these mandates and these proposals uh, have put forth. Looking at investment demand, capital economics expects that the Federal Reserve shift to tighten its monetary policies could weigh on silver as a monetary metal. In other words, uh, we, we understand that silver is a monetary metal. Most people in this audience see silver as a monetary metal. However, the psychology, especially with Federal Reserve shift to tighten, if that does indeed happen when they say, you know, the forecasts talk about it, that it may happen sooner than 2023. Um, they say maybe by December of 2022, the Federal Reserve has signaled uh, that it could start to reduce its monthly bond purchases before the end of the year. But those signals can be uh, changed at any moment. Meanwhile, last month, the central bank projections pointed to a potential rate hike by December 2022. That's a long way off, folks. Um, and and more than likely, the fact that it's going to be down for so long, a lot of this stuff is baked in. Uh, but regardless, that's where the sentiment is now. And that's really what it's about. Emotion and sentiment, psychology. Those are really the three words that best describe the precious metal markets. Now, what is the psychology of those of us who stack the physical? To hold on. And it's been encouraging to see demand really stay relatively strong in spite of lower prices um, and higher premiums. Well, not as high of premiums. The premiums are starting to rise again a little bit, but uh, people are still buying the physical. Um, and I would encourage folks to uh, cautiously, optimistically buy, understanding that they are paying higher premiums as, as a percentage and... Um, and understanding that those premiums will partially be recovered in many cases, but not in all cases. I hear all kinds of stories from people in the comment section of my videos of people that are saying, hey, my LCS will only pay me spot, or I have to, I have to sell this much silver in order to get um, uh, any above spot. And they're only paying above spot for silver eagles. And it's uh, 2 $3 maybe instead of $4 as it was before. Um, so understand that uh, you are taking a risk in holding the physical 
in the premiums that you pay. That is essentially the risk and the potential for prices to drop further. But um, I'm of the mind, and again, I've been wrong before, but I believe there's a hard floor. In other words, very strong resistance of $20 for silver. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And, uh, and I believe now, especially after digesting this article and from what I've talked about in previous videos, that I think that um, it's less and less likely that we're going to see my prediction of $30 silver by the end of the year. And I don't think we're going to see $2,000 gold again either. But we do live in a volatile world and the markets are volatile as well and anything can change and, uh, and it can change very quickly. Sentiment can turn around very, very quickly in these markets. And so therefore, it's for that reason why I'm I'm going to hang on to my prediction by the end of the year. And that's part of what these predictions are about is, is about making them and sticking with them. Uh, I, but I don't do it to be bullish. Well, I mean, I am bullish on silver, uh, especially in the, in the long run as a wealth preservation tool. But, um, <clears throat> you know, but in the, for the year, um, uh, I'm still going to stick to my $30 prediction. Um, but don't take my word for it. Don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but I think it's still likely based off of how quickly things can change in the markets. And I do tend to be antagon or contrarian with the general sentiment. In other words, now there's a lot of people going on this bullish shark journey around silver prices and everybody's down on silver. And I'm going to kind of be contrarian against that uh, because I understand at least how volatile these markets are and how quickly can things can turn on a dime. But nonetheless, uh, to close out the article, um, he added that because silver's expected weak industrial component, the precious metal could continue to underperform gold prices through 2022. That is something else that's key here. And that is really does make sense, especially what we've been seeing over the last uh, months here. It is below 78 again. Uh, but it is still very high. We saw it in the 60s before earlier in the year. So there's where the markets are right now. Fascinating indeed to see how these prices are moving. And we'll see where it goes. But uh, um, if this article bodes well, it's a good time to not buy silver. Especially if you feel that it could go down even more. Um, and I actually did make a purchase of silver when it did go down to around that level. And I'll be unboxing that here fairly soon. My first, my biggest silver purchase of the year, which ain't saying much, but I'm, I digress. That video is coming. Uh, but nonetheless, there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. It's interesting times we live, and I see these prices as buying opportunities. No one knows exactly the, the right time to buy. But nonetheless, when you make that purchase, um, you're committing to it. Even the price drops. But uh, be encouraged. You're doing the right thing by diversification of your assets. And if you think of them as insurance policies um, and you're getting a bargain, um, and there you go. And if the prices continue to drop, well, hey, you've got the metal in your hand. And uh, we know that we're going to see a rebound um, in due course. And, and there's other reasons as well, too, that I'll talk about perhaps in, in another video. There you have it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.